Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to day two of the Breaking Mirror, otherwise known as we gather and play games. Um, KD here, and to my left is Stell, as usual. To my right is B, mm -hmm. and sitting where I sat on day one is Modern. You left a nice groove for me. <laughs> <laughs> and today we're playing Rascals. Rascals. So Rascals. It's a play of Rascal and Skull. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. How's that? We're doing a local quick race. It's a quick race, so everyone's gonna. Whose controller's flat? Somebody's not in. There we go. Why did my controller turn Rejoin off us. again? Day two, packs and go. junk. Packs and junk. I'm Cosplay dropper. today. Cosplay, yes, that's the topic of today. Now, Ash, what did you cosplay as? I went as Gordon Freeman, so it meant that I spent the last 27 years of my life preparing this part of my body for it. It and went very well. You were not allowed to speak, but people spoke to me. Yeah. yeah. Bate, what'd you do? I was a splicer from Bioshock. No one knew who I was, except for a few people, but the few people who knew who I was was really nice. Yeah, what's that guy that said, Whoa, you're a Bioshock? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was referred to as a Bioshock. And me, personally, I was the creepiest dude in every single other game known to man. No, I'm just kidding. I was Tingle from Legend of Zelda. Yeah, you had it right the first time. Yeah, you still are the creepiest <laughs> dude in all of the Zelda games. And my controller fell flat again. Sorry about that, guys. Try again. Good God. It's good. It gives me the lead I need to not win at this game. <laughs> so funnily enough, I've never actually done sort of big cosplay stuff before, especially not like this kind of big. I think Katie's the only one who's done it before. Yeah. yeah. Back in um back in Sydney, there's a lot of anime conventions, stuff like Supernova, Animania, yeah. and um, Smash, which is coming out next month. So you'll probably see me there. And what will you be going as? Uh, probably Tingle again, maybe. There we go. Uh, we went to the uh, Penny Arcade and make a strip. Oh, yes! Excellent. Really, really good. That was oh the big thing about today, is making sure that we got into at least one of the big meeting things, so... Penny Arcade does a strip live, was really, really good. Yeah. As well, far as I know, they will have a recording of that somewhere, so you need to check it out. If only because you will learn so much about Australian wildlife and what is and isn't true. Oh, dro drop bears and hoop snakes! <laughs> yep. And cassowaries. cassowaries. Sadly, we missed the Borderlands 2 panel because uh, it yes. got in line for that like three hours before it started. Typical convention thing. There was probably there people there 45 minutes early just to make sure they got into it. Which honestly, if I knew I would have been there, for, I would have waited in line three hours for that. But I mean, for I people who don't know, Anthony Birch, who was the lead writer of Borderlands 2, was going to be there. I'm pretty sure he was, but obviously we weren't there, so we have no idea. If there's a recording <laughs> somewhere, we should check it out. Still, yeah. help me. How do I use items again? Why? Just mash Why? you Why? fool! Don't you? Haven't you played Try fighting it. games? Sorry? He, he plays pro fighting games properly. He, yeah, he yeah. plays fighting games yeah. properly, so the mashing yeah. <laughs> concept doesn't mean it. Look, quarter circle back and then push a button. Yeah, pretty much. The um, the big important thing for me was I think it reinforced to us again that we need something more than just wandering over to a line to get into an yeah. actual session. Mm, but yeah. Definitely. The B, uh, just a little update from me, the Bring Your Own Computer section was a lot more populated today, although it was still relatively low. I think the draw of those tickets is not, in fact, bringing your own computer, but having somewhere to sit reliably and being able yeah. to walk in the back door without a queue. Honestly, BYOC passes are like premium passes because you just walk straight the fuck in and go wherever you want. We're plebs in the queuing room because we didn't do BYOC passes. Meanwhile, you guys get a chair that's dedicated to you, you get a computer area, and the fact that you just pull up, get out, and jump the fuck in. Well, what happened? I might just grab no, one next year and spring a laptop or something, because... I'm, I'm fully it. willing to buy a BYOC pass, turn up with a piece of paper that says Ash's computer and just prop it up where I'd sit. Yeah. I don't even care, it's just it's a place that you can sit down. BYOC, bring your own chair. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> Although, so, that's kind of funny, though, because I got donated a beanbag as Tingle, because... Oh, really? Serious? Yeah, I was trying to find Stella, oh, so... I was in the lunch. Yeah, it was in the handheld lounge. I was trying to find Stella, so I got my phone, and then someone's just like, Hey, Tingle, man, I'll, gi I'll give you a chair. It's like, Tingle, sit on my beanbag, mate! <laughs> Seriously, you got all the girls today. People were just jumping over themselves to get a picture with the creepy dude in a skin-tight suit. With the bulge. Yeah, it's bulge. just serious. That bulge. That bulge. It's alright, you're allowed And the cutting nipples in the cold. Oh, yeah. um... <laughs> Glass-cutting nipples, thanks to the, we the weather in Melbourne. 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 So the I thing is, to... it's all in character anyway. Yeah, pretty much. Yes. Yes. So, there, do you think that there was more people here today? Like, today? That there was more people? Or is it just that there was more, like, a dedicated crowd? Cause... A dedicated crowd because the weather was actually really bad. 
Yeah. Say, it didn't seem like there was that many people sort of lining up and stuff, but just when you get in there, it's just pretty full on. Mm. There was definitely more cosplayers today, I felt. Yes. Like, I mean, there was cosplayers yesterday, but there wasn't really serious ones. Um, in terms of the cosplay as well, there was a lot of League of Legends one because Nika saw. I Nika think saw actually they did a cosplay competition today. So yes. yeah, that was actually really good. There was some amazing stuff. I think that might be. I think that might be a summoner showcase. Yeah, ah, that's really actually awesome. a really good point. Yeah, I didn't know if it was coming up as that. I was very impressed with what the stuff mm. came up. There. Well, there's just a lot of really talented people. Oh yeah. Man Ari was there again. Man, Man, Man Ari, Ari, yeah. For those who aren't aware, Ari is a very sexy fox girl in League of Legends, and today she was being played by a dude. A very skinny dude. A very, very skinny, skinny dude, dude who was very happy to be there and very happy to be dressed that way. <laughs> yes. Very good fiddlesticks, though. Oh, that yeah, that's that, that awesome. was impressive. Really good technical stuff. Mm. Apparently, light up eyes and the rest of it. Good job. If you need a justification on fiddlesticks, think of a scary scarecrow. A that spooky, shoots. scary skeleton scarecrow that shoots birds at you. Not to be confused with spooky, scary skeleton beaters. Wait. Wait. What's it? Wait. He can't help it, he was born that way. I was born that way. So, I mean, as far as things that we wanted to do today and didn't get around to doing, I mean, there's not really a lot of that. Mm. Obviously, we missed the Borderlands panel, that sucks. Which I'm gutted about, but. Gutted, I'll, but. I'll get, I'll get by. I think, I think media coverage at PAX will be good enough that you'll be able to watch it somewhere, but I mean, I yeah, understand that you really I... wanted to actually ask yeah, questions. So. Uh, what was your question, mate, if you could just. Tell us. You sum it up for us. I wanted, I wanted to hear Anthony Birch's um, opinions on the the challenges that between turning the characters from Borderlands One into actual um, non-player characters with fully fleshed stories instead of being a vessel for the player. Because he's talked about that before and other stuff that he's done. Also, game related. I'm a moron and went the wrong way, and you guys cleared the. Oh, I didn't lose one for once. Fantastic. Take that, ninja <laughs> boy. But no, I mean, Beat brings up a good point because I mean, you look at Borderlands Two. A whole new suite of characters. There's six now, isn't mm. there? And Massive. you now you now go into the game with familiar faces being the characters you played in the first game. But now they're NPCs and there's things happening to them, bad things at times. So you feel for them from just the perspective of, you know, I used to be oh, that Yeah, dude. exactly. Yeah, so it's and it was more of a thing like around the time he was hired at Gearlock is when Borderlands 2 was coming out. So I don't know if it's like he got on the team and he's like, yo, I got all these yeah. ideas. <laughs> I got these ideas, man. I got ideas for date. It's a sad. It, well, that's the thing. It's a shame because I think it would have been a really good question to ask. Yeah. Now, I mean, I did get to ask me a question on the Penny Arcade panel, but obviously I was just talking shit because yeah. I'm good at it. <laughs> well, come on. We we are part of, of a community of people that are dedicated to not being very good at video games. So of course I'm going to ask Mike and Jerry, what kind of games are you bad at? Surprisingly enough, well, sorry, that's a complete fucking lie. Not, there's no surprise when they said they're not very good at Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ninja, Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden. Like, I've never actually heard anything about the game and its gameplay. I've only ever heard that it's fucking hard. Well, Eager Raptor has a video out. It's just like, this ain't even the tutorial level. Ah, oh, yes. I do remember that. So, there you go. Well, the big thing I noticed today was the cosplay was a lot bigger today as yeah. well. Like, I, I think it helps that they were doing the, uh, the, the, the must have been... I never knew that there was like an announcement for the League of Legends cosplay tournament. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't neither. Neither. Yeah, it yeah, must yeah. have been somewhere because there was a lot more people today. Unless it's just one of those Word things, of given that the second day will be the, the cosplay day. Mm. Oh, I can't jump. Oh, this guy. What? How do you cheese that? <laughs> I jumped off your head. Wow. No oh, this lie. is shit. 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 So I think I kind of would feel tomorrow's going to be a little bit more casual for us. Yeah, definitely. Well, hopefully we're going to get have a closer look around some of the booths. We've got some uh, footage from today, which uh, we'll put up in a moment of... Just you, at the end of the day. I'm about to say, if you really want to see a GoPro camera that was attached to a fake lead pipe being carried by a guy who's a splicer, you'll get to see some of that. And you'll also get to see Gordon Freeman play Fruit Ninja Connect. Oh, Which wow. is actually really hard when your range of movement is like that of fucking see Fruit Ninja is awesome. <laughs> yeah, but apparently when you've got big lumpy arms, the fucking camera doesn't actually pick up on it. So the guy's going, SWIPE FASTER! Oh, oh I can't! Swipe or no swipe. Except I didn't say that because I was Gordon Freeman and I'm not allowed to talk. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Which, by chance, if you've actually seen us, I mean, at some point today and taken a photo, and if you're watching this, then please find a way to send it oh, to yeah, us. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, definitely. Send it to us, because we didn't actually take that many photos of ourselves. Couldn't... We need more duck face. I couldn't carry... I couldn't carry anything. Considering you did not have a pocket except for nature's pocket... <laughs> the bus is nature's pocket for those who are morbidly curious. Yeah, couldn't really carry things. Modern was in the same boat. I was in the same boat. At least, <laughs> Mister Mister Bloody Splicer Man was actually wearing reasonable clothes. 
Who's this is that classy dude who'd come from a murder scene, that's all. Yeah, no, yeah. Oh, this, this is terrible. B. No, I, I no, 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 it's me. I'm in the bottom right. I'm the one who's sucking coke no, 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 no. and dong. No, so. I was actually going to bring up a reference from one of our good friends, but I don't think that's appropriate right now. What? You can't do that. You leave people hanging. You know what? Make up something and say that's what you were going to say. Um, <laughs> I was totally going to talk about this. Are you talking about Violetta's brother? Oh, okay. <laughs> So, one of my good friends back in Sydney, <laughs> shout, shout outs to him. Ah, oh, he's finished. His younger brother was at PAX, and he wasn't. So, <laughs> scumbag brother. Raze, if you're out there, man. What, what the fuck, you... dude? <laughs> fuck. Not good enough. You need a car, dude! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. So, I mean, the weather at least is, pers- is being really persistent and being shit on each day. Yep. yep. Well, well, so far it's sort of been going downhill at a well, didn't say, gentle rate. They just say they're going to host it at a different time next year. Well, I think the big reason for them hosting it at a different time is that it's Comic-Con time in the States as well. Yeah. So it means that, like, they, they actually mention, like, you've got uh, Scott Kurtz of PvP, um, Play vs. Player fame. Mm. He's good friends with the guys from Penny Arcade after, you know, if you're a spurgy figure when it comes to comics, you'll know that they were sort of head-to-head for a while. They're good friends now, and somebody asked, why isn't Scott Kurtz here? And the answer was, he's at Comic-Con. And you can't blame someone for that. Like, PAX Australia, yeah. it's a big deal, but, you know, it's a long way to go. When you are an American resident, yeah. and you want to do a con, and it's a big con like Comic-Con, then why the fuck would you go to Australia? Pretty I mean, much. Not, not that it's not a lovely place, but fucking jet lag is a bitch. Yeah. It is yeah. a bitch. I mean, that's the thing. You've got people just... <laughs> some of the people that are there at booths that you know that come from the U.S., they're blinking, you can tell they're really tired because they yeah. had to be on a plane for 14 hours and that's only if they flew out of LA. Yeah, exactly. If they had to connect to somewhere, they flew even longer. Well, the Penny Arcade... Wait, Arca- I'm first! You're first? Yes. Well, the Penny Arcade dudes yes. are from Seattle, so what's Seattle relative to... Uh, well, I, I... That's even funnier is the fact that the, guy, the Penny Arcade guys, Jerry and Mike, they live in Seattle and I love Seattle, but the thing is, Seattle for the most part, it's like Tasmania. It's cold, it's wet, it's horrible. Yeah. And then they come here and it's in cold, wet, and sunny Melbourne. It's like cold, wet, and horrible. Do you know what I actually really like? During the Penny Arcade, um, the Penny Arcade Q and A when they're doing the strip, by the way, which drop bears, it's a good strip. They <laughs> commented on just how much we like to give each other shit. You can't ask a question about that than ending yeah. with it. Hey, by the way, Sydney sucks. Sydney mm. sucks. Why did you hold PAX in Brisbane? And then the next, the next person comes up and is like, oh, just for justification, guys, Sydney does not suck. Sydney does not suck. Oh. I like how you did your shout out to Tasmania as well. I did. Well, I felt it was only necessary. The funniest thing is that, like, you know, they go, oh, represent people from New South Wales, and there's like a whole bunch of voices going, yeah! And then I go, like, Tasmania, and so I'm going, yeah. We didn't learn of this mechanic. Why is there a water mechanic in this? Just figure it out. Uh, Sash A, figure it out. <laughs> and then when I was in the food court later, this one guy approached me and went, yes, I'm from Tasmania. I'm like, that's great. All two of us are here. Who's watching the co- who's, who's watching the state while we're gone? <laughs> oh dear. It's the land down under the land down under, but mm, it's a nice place. Well, I, I swear on your three yesterday it said no map. It did! <laughs> it said you've met somebody from Tasmania on no Street map. Pass. It says no map found. By the way, if you're watching this and you go to PAX and you have a DS, bring your DS. Yeah, it's Street Pass is where it's at! That puzzle quest. At Modern's been addicted to that. Shut up! I've never used I've never used Street Pass before, and in two days of packs, I've got a hundred people, and that's with me being slack. Yeah, yeah. I could have way more today. I found out that Street Pass caps out at ten people. I could have hundreds. Mm. The funniest thing, I'm going to go back to Tasmania and never use it again. Pretty yeah. much. But I enjoyed it here. It was a one-off mechanic. So that you can pretty much say that if you're interested in Street Pass, do it at packs and never again. You can trade your DS in when you finish. Main reason is is that if you're a vivid TF2 fan and you like hats, you get hats. Yeah, you get hats. You go to dungeons, you get hats. It's fun. Plus, you meet people by don't not actually talking to them. Second. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. I'm, I'm climbing the the ladder here because I've just been eating so much balls this entire game. <laughs> Talking about balls. Speaking of balls, yes, actually. Thick League of Swag. It's really funny when you go to the League of Legends booth and they're handing out these amazing little things that give you your roles, like jungle and support. And then they have these amazing squishy stress ball things based on characters of the game. And depending on who you get, <laughs> like sometimes like, for me to give you this item, you must answer me this trivia question. They're like, oh, something like something that's actually worth answering. And they then you find the one person who's basically an intern, they're like, oh. Uh, uh, I got some guy who was very, very old. I don't uh, know. 
You can have a bomb. <laughs> Betas had to answer the trivia question. Do you want to share us what it was? Which League of Legends character has the highest possible move speed? Remus. Which? It's Remus. Well, because he's selling the hedgehog technique. Yeah. Gotta go fast. <laughs> I can't catch me, Robot. Ugh. Why do we... people just get crushed by the skull spawn? I think we, we all got... learned that you don't get. Oh, we got lightning bolted though. That was me. That was ah, me. Yeah. What does the whistle do? I have no idea. I think it's like close. Rush. Whoa, look at yeah. that. Look at that. Look at I've never played this before, but I want to play it again and again. So, this game's actually really fun. Mm. I think tomorrow, a big, a, a big part of my day today, no shit, was going to... I don't know, I don't know if you could really call it a, uh, a retro gaming area. I mean, yes, they've got like Mega Drives and stuff, but then they've got a Dreamcast. But I mean, is that really yes, retro? Yes, that's That is retro. It's retro now. That's retro and hip stuff. That makes me feel old as shit. But the big thing for me is playing Power Stone. Uh, if you think Super Smash yeah. Brothers is bad with items, then get on my level and play Power Stone. It's really We're meant to be playing that tomorrow, so you may find a video of that coming your way very soon. And tomorrow is yeah. the day we're always spending money. Tomorrow is the day we'll be picking money. up swag. They've got a lot of really good merchandise, of course. Penny Arcade has now got... They've got pins. Like, if, you, if you're yes, interested in pin pins. culture, you go to places like Disneyland, you can buy pins of different characters and yeah. things. And people, they actually trade it. It's like trading cards. You deliberately buy things so that you can give them to other people. And... Of course, they, uh, Jerry and Mike, got very into that, and they decided to do their own, <laughs> funny thing, Pinny Arcade. <laughs> That's what they actually call it. But they've got, like, the thing about this is that you pick up unique pins, so, like, there'll be a PAX Australia pin. And apparently, I think, I don't know if I read this correctly, but I think what they said was that if you find them out on the floor, you can trade pins with them. They might actually have unique ones. Oh, cool. Yeah, oh, so, right. I mean... If you're into really nerdy stuff like trading pins, get into it. I, I'm gonna buy the pins. I probably won't trade them, but that's only because I'm horrible. I love the Pokey Pin trading card game. Pokey Pins? You can have a badge too. But fun, funny that you say Pokey Pins, because I actually went to one of the stores on day one and bought myself a set of Kanto badges. The, um, yeah, but that's, that's Pokemon. That's, that's different. That's one of the different. things they mentioned on the unique pins is there's meant to be, possibly in the future, a unique drop air pin. Yeah, <coughs> actually during the Q&A yeah. today, somebody went, why isn't there a drop air <laughs> pin? And their only response was, oh god, we're, more we're stupid. They were so stupid. We should have done that. They're releasing a new sub-episode type thing called We're Bad at Pins. We're Bad at Pins, yeah. <laughs> Look forward to your bad video games pins today. They may very well be post-it notes with safety pins put through them, but at least they'll be unique. Nice. I feel like if you're very competitive at this casual game, there'll be like some sort of min-maxing type thing. Oh, yeah. Like that! Saving your boost for the last little bit! See, I've come first twice, I've come fourth like eight times, but I don't talk about the other eight times. <laughs> now let's see who just won that, actually. Yeah, well, I, I might get on the podium, maybe? Yeah? I think still one ah. one. Oh! Yes! So, see, I'm third, you're fourth. You don't even get a third place. Tie. So, tie. This, is, okay. this, this yeah. has been Rascal, guys. Rascals, that's me in second position. That's no, him in the field, apparently. Good hit, job. Hit your right trigger and you'll do something. I walk like a zombie. Ha, hoo, ha, hoo, ha, hoo. So, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you next time. <laughs>